You've grabbed your audience with your high impact opening. You've taken them through each floor of your house and made all of your supporting points to your foundational concept. Now, how do you conclude to leave them wanting to take action on your main message? That's the subject of this video. One of the biggest challenges for effective presentations is a high impact conclusion. How do you leave people feeling inspired and motivated to take action, whether you're selling a product, service, or idea? Well, let's talk about what not to do. Don't end on a thud. What does that mean? It means after putting together a terrific opening and a foundational concept, supporting points, you don't want to leave with a simple thank you or a very weak call to action. Many people struggle with this. They feel like they're getting too salesy. Absolutely not at all. You're, you're doing your audience a disservice if you don't give them some type of next step after all this terrific information you've given. You could be offering a phone call, tips, insights. I often offer 52 uh, storytelling insights. So give them something of value to continue going deeper into your topic. So let's talk about how do you transition from the top floor, your final point, back down to the first floor so we can take them out the back door where they have a brand new interpretation and understanding of your topic. Well, first we have to start with transitioning from the third floor back down to the first. We use our, our transitional tool, which is this golden nugget and the sterling silver knife show them the benefits and what they'll lose if they don't take action on all of the points they've just heard. Then do a quick summary. Remind them in one sentence, here's what you've just heard. When I'm talking about presentation skills, I start with, remember, without a positive mindset, you're not going to succeed. You're going to sabotage your presentation. So go in positively expected, confident, and ready to go. Next, make sure you've got a clear and concise message that's supported by relevant points. You've got to have strong material. And third, deliver in your natural style, as if you're having a conversation over the lunch table. That's it, I do a quick summary. Then I transition into my final words. There are many different ways you can do this. There are four that I've found most effective. Number one is to end on a single statement. It could be the statement that you open the presentation with. Now people have a different perspective on it. For instance, if I open my presentation about speaking skills, I could say, public speaking is the most important communication skill you can develop. Well, it's a strong statement, but until they hear the speech, they might be able to disagree with me. By the end, if I've proven my point, I can bring that statement back and say, now you understand why public speaking is the most important communication skill you can develop. Second, I can use a quote. Maybe I opened with a quote, maybe I'm introducing it for the first time. One of my favorites about public speaking is from Warren Buffett, the legendary investor. In the words of Warren Buffett, become a competent and effective public speaker and you increase your value in the marketplace by at least 50%. I can leave with a question. I really like this because our job as speakers is not to make audiences comfortable. People who are comfortable don't change. If our presentation, unless it's about entertainment, we're just there to give them a break from day-to-day -day life, they're there for transformation. Well, they're not going to transform unless they take action. They won't take action if they're too comfortable. That's the summary of why questions can be so powerful. Leave them with a question that has them considering the implication of staying the same. I could say to my audience, now that you know the power and the potential impact that public speaking can have on your business, are you willing to stay seated or are you willing to make the change, take the risk, and be the one on stage leaving an impact on others? Great question to ask because it leaves them feeling a bit uncomfortable in the sense that if I stay the way I've been, I'm not gonna make a change. I won't be able to take advantage of this public speaking skill. That's how you leave the question. 
And probably my, my favorite is the story element. Now, I can introduce a new story that summarizes or demonstrates the entire presentation they've just heard, or I could come back to a story that I opened with. One of my favorites, the ways that I open my speeches is with a story about how I was humiliated in first grade. It made me afraid of public speaking or standing in front of people in any venue for the next 25 years. But then because of a potential job loss, I had to face this fear. Well, I can circle back to that story and talk about how um, overcoming this fear and mastering the fundamentals of public speaking has made a massive difference in my business and my personal life. So I leave them on hope that they can transform also. Those are four effective ways to conclude your presentation. Leave people on a high note, leave them inspired, and also challenged to take the next step. A couple of mistakes I commonly see that you want to avoid when concluding your presentation. Number one is don't introduce new ideas. I frequently see people do this. If you've ever listened to a presentation and you feel like the speaker has ended and then the next thing you know, they're introducing new material and they're concluding again and again and again, you're confused. You don't know what you're supposed to do. You don't know what the point is. So don't do that. Uh, one of my favorite examples, this didn't happen, but imagine if at the end of his legendary speech, which is commonly known as I have a dream, if Dr. King had gotten to the end of that speech, said those famous words, free at last, free at last. Thank God almighty we are free at last. And another thing, I want to talk to you about our education system. People would have been like, well, where did that come from? That's a whole new topic. You don't want to do that. Don't confuse your audience. The other mistake I commonly see people make is they give their audience members too many choices at the end for a next step. You want to give them one. Again, it could be as something as simple as schedule a phone call, sign up for my insights, schedule a report, buy my product, give them one. There's an old saying that a confused mind says no, a clear mind says go. Audiences never want to be told what to do, but they definitely want direction. Don't point your audience in more than one direction or they won't take action. And more importantly, they won't get benefit from your presentation. This is the final video in our high impact speaking house. I hope this metaphor has been useful for you how you can create a speech or even a story that is similar to building a house. Construct that solid foundation upon which to build the entire structure. Have your supporting points, your floors, that support the main idea you're trying to get across to the audience. Build those points out using that parts formula. Have a, a memorable phrase for each supporting point. Use that anchor that ties it in uh, below the conscious level of the audience. So they, they really grasp the importance. A lot of times it's a story that does that. Ask the reflective questions. Get them thinking about the implication of your points into their lives. Share the technique and then make the sale. Show them the benefit if they take action and show them what they'll lose if they don't. Use those smooth transitions, the golden nugget and the sterling silver knife that shows them the benefit of taking action or the loss of not taking action and then tie it all up with a powerful high impact conclusion that causes them to leave your speaking house with a whole new perspective on your topic and inspire to take action. If I can help in any way, if I can answer questions, if I can help you structure your house, I would love to. If you want to talk with me, schedule time below this video. We'll just schedule a short phone call or a Zoom call. Happy to answer questions and see how we can help you build a solid, high impact speaking house that leaves influence long after you give a presentation. Good luck building your house.